Alright, now I bought the YM. Oh, and the GC. Got a late late start on the GC. I got a plus five on the YM. And plus five on the GC. Alright, let's go over this real quick. Notice we have this hard push down. And we although we have a lot of speed ticks, a lot of indicators, you if you were listening, you heard me say no, no trade there, no trade there. So I had something that was giving me a heads up. Right? Giving me some indication I need to be paying attention. Then on the open of the next bar, I didn't have that trigger to uh, to get me into the trade. I had rules in place that said I do not get into a trade unless this trigger is in place. For this trade, that would have been a divergence or this um, rock star. So I waited. Got a speed tick, waited for the open of the next bar, no, no rock star, waited for the open of the next bar, got a rock star. Now, the only reason this qualified for a trade, um, well, actually two reasons. I have the low of the day for minor support, but I also had this major support behind my trade. See how it opened just above the line here? So it was actually an ideal setup price got exhausted it was being manipulated pretty well like pretty hard and then momentum shifted directions so we had all that happen right here there's our plus five and and then some at the same time the GC was doing its thing major push up exhaustion setting in overbought condition the trades coming in are faster than we're likely that retail traders could be doing it. Not coming in, but being processed. We have major, we hit a major line of resistance, which pushed price back. Price opened, tried again. When it opened, we had our rock star. That was our point of entry. If you're lucky, when you went to put on your order here, it actually backed up a little bit and you got in here. And then down she went. 